So if you're still in bed, I'm going to show you from the yoga mat what you can start to do. When you first get up, I know, Linda, you mentioned last night. Can you hear me, by the way, from over there? We uh, can. Okay. Um, I know you said, like, when, you know, you first get up in the morning, it takes you a few stretches just to get up and get moving. So here's the, here are some of the things that you can do uh, when you first get up. So when you first get up, you're still in bed. Your legs are extended. You can start with just gentle um, ankle pumping, all right? I see very, very good first circulation. If, if you're stiff at your ankles or your, your knees or your calves, this is going to help you. You can do pumping, you can do circles, all right? And the next thing I'm going to have you do is something we went over last night, which is the calf stretch. Okay. So you can take your yoga band, all right, or a strap or a towel or even your sheet, okay, wrap it around the bottom of your foot. Pull. Okay. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds. I'm just going to guesstimate so we can get through each of the exercises. Like to make them make them a little bit shorter so that we can get through all our stretches. Do the other side. Okay. hamstring stretch okay so there's a couple ways you could do it with your legs extended like this if you remember from last night Ken showed us you're, you're going to keep your upper body pretty straight you're not going to curve here you're going to hinge from your hips and you're just going to bend forward only go to your comfort level you should feel a pull but you shouldn't feel such a strain that it becomes painful. If it does, when you first do it, just back up a little bit and then hold yourself there. Try it again to keep your back nice and straight.
and feel free, you know, especially when you're first getting up, um, one thing that happens, obviously, as we get older and you know, as we have more and more injuries to our body, we, begin, we just tend to become stiffer. Um, we want to just make sure that we're we are getting enough patient at our core. Like I said, if you're home, you don't have to worry about anybody watching you. You can look at your hip, counterclockwise, clockwise. everything out, get moving. Even if you're marching in place, use your arms too. Again, just for circulation, just to get started, just to get those, you know, those muscles moving. Okay. Next, um, we talked last night about stretching the biceps shoulders, the pec muscles. We said that everything that you do is in front of your body, so we tend to be very forward, you know, with our head, our rounded shoulders. So these are all exercises that are going to help with that and help with your posture. And then especially these exercises I'm about to show you now, these are all exercises that you can do when you're taking breaks from uh, being at the desktop or the laptop all day long, like we, you know, a lot of us have been doing these or any time, you know, when you're, you know, you're sitting for a long period of time at work, and even if you're running around at work, these are nice stretches also for your knee. So, um, what we'll start with is the bicep stretch. Just as in last night, you're going to extend your arm. Okay, again, as much as you can without pain. All right, you can feel full at your bicep, but not pain. seconds. of your chest but not this going on okay we all sometimes we tend to do this if we're not really getting the air into our lungs we kind of do this try not to do that try to have it come from here and breathe 
breathe out with your lips first. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. You want to breathe in slowly, okay? You don't want to breathe take quick breaths. You don't want to hyperventilate. So it's nice, slow, deep breaths. shoulders and our chest okay for your shoulders just a gentle stretch you're going to bring your arms up okay if you have back problems i would say you know you don't have to try to arch back or anything like that if you can and you normally do it great and if you also have shoulder problems old tendonitis old rotator cuff injury you know that limit you from bringing your arms all the way up, just go as far as you can go, even if you can go to here and down, okay? Again, like I said, you know, recently we haven't been doing as many activities, so we're usually like at our desk or play, maybe playing video games or on the computer, so our arms are always down. We're not really going up here for anything unless you're doing a lot of stuff overhead, so it's great to get your arms up there. seconds, that's fine. Like we talked about last night, um, we can also do, we don't have a doorway here, right? We don't have a corner, but you can still do that stretch that you did last night. Side view. Side view. I'd like to, we're going to interrupt you. This was, this was great. The, the view was great. I love how you did these exercises. Uh, your skill and balance on a rock is amazing. Um, I'm hoping that we've, we've given everybody some motivation 